Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, this is a listener request here. Uh, left in the comments. I need to get another community page uh, poll going shortly. Asking about uh, news of um, Scott Perry and uh, Ronnie Jackson and their appointments to the House Intelligence Committee. This is one of the most important committees that's out there because it deals with national security. Um, in the past, this would be the the same committee. You remember Devin Nunes getting information, then running to the White House with that information to give it to Trump in a blatant attempt at having a mole inside the House uh, Intelligence Committee. And as I recall that story going, the information he brought back to the White House was the same information the White House uh, sent to the House Intelligence Committee. So way to out yourself there, Devin. How's that true social stock going for you? Yeah, your your Waterloo's so coming for you, my friend. Um, now Scott Perry was and Ronnie Jackson were both involved in uh, the coup operation. Scott Perry a lot more to the point where the FBI actually seized his phone and uh, were asking for hundreds, of, uh, like fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred email messages and such with regards to. Um, the January 6th stuff. Ronnie Jackson was an admiral. I can't remember if they bumped him down to captain. Uh, he was he was a, a doctor for Obama and for uh, Trump. And he was the one that you know pronounced Trump was super healthy and weighed like 215 pounds. And just a bunch of crap. And uh, Trump tried to get him in charge of veteran affairs and that didn't work out. And then there was ethics complaints about him harassing a female uh, subordinate drinking on the job and uh, uh, taking uh, uh, strong sleeping pills or something like that. I don't know if that was to help him sleep or if that was at other times. But, you know, this guy's not clean by any stretch. Now, you're, why would they put these two people on the House Committee? First off, the two people that were there left because they resigned. So positions are opened. Mike Johnson has now put two extremists into those positions. What's the messaging on that? The messaging on that really is Trump is too out of his freaking mind to uh, to understand the intelligence briefs he's getting. When when he becomes the Republican nominee, um, he starts getting intelligence briefs again. I really hope Biden does something about that because. You know, Trump wasn't inviting him Biden to those things, and there's no reason to give Trump national security. So it could be that they give they give Trump briefings, but they give him purposely wrong information to see if that makes it back to Vladimir Putin by putting these two guys on the House committee. Now they could also be getting the real information and comparing notes with what Trump was hearing to see if Trump's getting the right information. My concern with the, all of this is that you have extremists on this committee. This committee deals with foreign policy, and Putin has his arms uh, shoulder deep into the Republican Party in the House, to the point where they call it the Putin faction. This reeks, and I want to see what the cards have to say about that, okay? So let's entertain personally. Let's look at the energy around these latest two appointments by Mike Johnson, who seems to have forgotten himself again and is now always seems to be in the uh the thralls of donald trump which means he's in the thralls of putin a little seltzer water and off we go <clears throat> five of coins to start things off five of coins is being left out in the cold being excluded of course um neither one of these guys ronnie jackson or scott perry they wouldn't get a security clearance right now neither one of you think they're going to give scott perry the guy who the fbi is investigating on uh helping carry out the coup you think they're going to give him a security clearance for national intelligence you <laughs> no chance zero I have a better chance of getting nationals with these stupid things. I have a better chance. Sorry, guys. You're okay. You're not stupid. I'm just saying. 
you know, they could look at me as some weirdo reading tarot cards on the internet. I still have a better chance of getting security clearance than these clowns. But here we are. The guys that couldn't get any other way are going to get access to valuable information. I'm wondering if somehow, I mean, they can't be blocked. But they've, uh, this is kind of like an end around to get to the valuable stuff on the inside. What's the cross? Knight of Swords in the King of Pentacles. There's almost like... with Is Putin upset? Somebody with a lot of money was upset. And this is the reaction to appease this person. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, the person with the money, this could be Trump. The person with the money, Putin, Trump, whatever, wanted his folks on the inside. And uh, Mike Johnson was given the opportunity and he moved fast to get those people in. Again, this helps Trump. This helps Putin. <coughs> Notice I don't say this helps the Republican Party. Or, heck, it doesn't even help the Freedom Caucus. The, it's great for, like, Freedom Caucus members to have uh, seats on powerful committees like this. I get it for from their own personal thing. It's, um, you know, it's, it's great to have uh, folk, uh, members of your, mem members of your political group in powerful committee positions. It's more valuable for other people. These are horrible choices, by the way. In the past, you got the Four of Swords. Um, these positions were opened up, and there's a lot of thinking and contemplation going on for how to fill them. You know, it's just it was like an opportunity that they've been waiting. Somebody's been waiting for this opportunity. This is thought. Th these weren't done on the fly. These were thought out. It's just that they had to move quickly when it came time to move them in there. Current situation is the Five of Swords. This is kind of a last gasp effort at appeasing the whoever the King of Pentacles is. This is a last gasp effort to appease this person. You know, they've got... They've got folks on the inside now. These two people left, and now I'm going to replace them with my guys. Guys loyal to me. <clears throat> I swear, this coup is still going on. This is still part of the coup. Sorry to say that. I don't mean to alarm everyone on this one. I mean, honestly, the coup has never gone away because they've never arrested and charged the leaders of the coup. <laughs> they got the foot soldiers... But they haven't gone after the leaders yet. And that keeps getting blocked at the courts. The overarching energy is the high priestess. These guys were chosen because they know that they can get this, get and understand this information that the intelligence committee is presenting. Ronnie Jackson's former military. Uh, he's a doctor. He's going to be a very bright person. Scott Perry, I'm not exactly sure his background, but let's assume he's smart enough to understand what's going on and what to do kind of with this information. Uh, kind of like what the, the King of Pentacles wants to know things and they have it. The King of Pentacles, you know, for all you know, it could be Elon Musk. You know, just some wealthy dude who wants to know what's going on behind the scenes so they can make business decisions that make them a lot of money. It could be something as stupid and simple as that. It doesn't have to be, you know, nuclear bombs and, 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 uh, and uh, insurrections and stuff like that. It could be something as simple as somebody like an Elon Musk or some other gazillionaire that just they don't have enough money and they want more. Lesson be learned is heartbreak betrayal. These guys will do what they're asked. Whatever this guy is, whoever this guy is, whatever he asks, they're going to do it. They're going to give him that information. This heartbreak and betrayal is them breaking their oaths uh, to the Constitution. 
and then they will start transmitting that information. So whoever, again, if I don't know who this King of Pentacles is, but whoever it is, they're going to transmit transmit the information to this person. So I'm going to leave the King of Pentacles out for a second because that's going to be the next card I want to ask is describe the King of Pentacles to me. You know, the... I don't know what's worse. I mean, you know what I mean? It's like you expect Putin to want U.S. national secrets. That's obvious. You know, duh. Can't imagine why he'd want to know those things. Or pretty much any other world leader would want to have uh, allies or spies in on those committees. That makes perfect sense. But, um, and you could see Donald Trump wanting something like that because... That gives him power and, and the ability to leverage things. How? Not sure, but he could do it. But what is unexpected would be if you had some wealthy businessman or business group come in and want that information so that they could make money. Like, like the ultimate in insider trading. Trading national secrets, acting on national secrets, that sort of thing. That one's not the obvious one, but that one almost feels like it's the right answer. Okay, so I kept the King of Pentacles out. Give me three clarifier cards on the King of Pentacles. Agreements were made, maybe on both sides. <clears throat> they want to take things that don't belong to them. Stealing, they're not trustworthy. Again, kind of, uh, <laughs> could be Trump, you know, just a petty thief type of thing. But it's also spying, too. There's that strength card again. That was on the bottom of the deck before. Um, this person is working from a position of strength, almost leveraged. You know, he's got leverage over people, which is why he's getting his way. Um... <coughs> If it were Trump, for instance, you know, he's got uh, all the money. He's holding up all the money and he wants to get reelected. Now, getting part of the coup, trying to steal the government. And he's got allies in that place to help him get back to office. That's one way you could translate this. If this was like a Putin, he's, he's got a spy trying to steal things on it, maybe to... Um, better understand how to what's going on with the war and a better exit strategy for a truce so he could strengthen his position if there's a ceasefire so he can land on his feet that sort of thing if it was like an elon musk it's just no, plain stealing money so he can do contracts make business agreements buyouts things like that and mergers and bring things in just to strengthen his position as well. See, it it doesn't matter. <laughs> In some ways, it doesn't matter which of those. It still seems like it still it. Yeah. The natural reaction is to think Trump, because these are guys that were in deep with Trump. So. And it could be multiple of those, because if it let's say it's let's say it's a wealthy businessman who has close ties with Trump and maybe has close ties with Putin, then all three people benefit from this. See what I mean? Entertainment purposes only. Well, we lost all the light outside. What's the damage to the United States because of this? How does the United States fare with this? You can't get, well, you could get them off. It would be the FBI catching them. But it takes a while to, to set people up. And you know, we're in June, and these guys are only going to be on there for five or six months. 
Be, that would be one hell of a quick sting, you know what I mean? How's the U.S. going to fare with this? The strength card, just like underneath there. It's going to try our strength. It's going to try the strength of the country. Strength of secrets. Keeping secrets. And the star card. Um, it's going to test the strength of the country. We're going to be okay because of, we'll, we'll be okay despite this. Um, it might be that the intelligence, uh, you can almost see that like the intelligence committee gets less and less intelligence. Like the agency's not sharing as much stuff with them because they know that things have been compromised. It almost makes you wonder if there's a back channel that happens. <sighs> Such a mess. There, there, there's contemplation, there's thinking, there's a quietness back here. In the past, you got the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is a nightmare. This You have... Just like Jared and Ivanka getting security clearances, you've got two guys who can't, who, who should not be sitting on this committee. Let's plain and simple say that. Current situation is the Page of Pentacles. Um, you almost have to naively trust that they're going to honor their oath to the Constitution. <laughs> and I say naively because it's possible. I mean, it could be possible that I am so completely and utterly off base that these guys are just a pair of normal everyday patriots doing their patriotic duty of public service. It just stinks to high heaven. The world card. I could, I think it's almost like the, like other intelligence agencies around the world, uh, there's like a, a, a lessening of sharing of intelligence because, because there's some concern about sources and stuff like that. I think what you're going to see is that the, the temperature, <laughs> I don't know how to, to explain it, you know, Part of the thing with intelligence, the most important part is the gathering, their methods of gathering the intelligence. Because if, you know, if somebody finds out a, a secret that you found out, well, they know you know the secret, but they don't know how you found out. Um, and you don't want them to know how you found out because that can trade you back, trace you back to, you know, uh, a human source that's providing it. Or like with the Russian troll farm, uh, uh, was it some Dutch hackers got in and hacked a security camera and they could watch the the the, uh, the trolls going back and forth in this one room in the Kremlin that was spreading all this mis misinformation during the 2016 election as detailed in the Mueller report. You know, you don't want to let them know that you can hack into their camera system because then they can make changes to the closed camera system. And not only do you lose that, but any of anything else that you had that you were spying on them, you lose that too. So I think the world backs off a little bit on the intelligence sharing that they do because they can't afford to have intelligence sources compromised. <clears throat> the lesson to be learned is the victory. Um, this is just gonna have to, things are gonna go quiet for a while for the U.S. intelligence-wise until November when the Democrats take over. Well, actually, it's going to be January, right? Six months? It's going to be January because you have to get the new intelligence committees out there. And you can't trust the guys that are on there. Unless they've been arrested, in which case everything's fine. U.S. is going to land on its feet. The U.S. will land on its feet. It's just, I think the intelligence agencies are looking at this and they realize that they have to adopt some different tactics. And what a freaking shame it is that that's where we're at in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> 
the, the party that wraps themselves up in the American flag and the faction of the party that would wrap themselves in the most American flags are also filled with the most spies and compromised people who will do anything for power in a buck. And if that means getting rid of democracy so they can continue to have power and money and wealth, they would willingly do that. But tell me again how is the Democrats ruining this country? I don't know. Most of you, it's, it, I'm sorry, save me at the end for that little sarcasm here. You know, I get the occasional uh, trollish comment. And it's funny because I can read their comment. It's like, if you just swap Trump with Biden, this comment would be 100% accurate. Ugh, people. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your likes, shares, comments, and beating the algorithm so the video makes it out to a wider audience so that they can see this video and maybe they'll appreciate it too. And those people who have succeeded in doing that, welcome to the channel. Hope you found this reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.